I'm sure you must have noticed the uh, Retzo coat of arms in various places. And as you can see, there are different variants and they were for the different branches of the family. Each branch of the family would modify it somewhat uh, just so they can, like I said, differentiate them from the other branches of the family. So maybe now's a good time to talk about heraldry and nobility, coats of arms and all that kind of good medieval type of stuff. Heraldry originated in the middle of the 12th century uh, in Europe as well as Sicily. And that is why if you look at our family tree, you'll start to see the use of the Arizzo, uh coat of arms it coincides with that time period. We generally believe that the coats of arms uh, were a little more than identifying insignia at first so that knights whose helmets obscured their identity on the battlefield uh, could identify friend from foe in the battle by the insignia painted on, on their shields. That quickly evolved, however, into more decorative purposes. Uh, lots of tournaments and joust and the knights would uh, use this coat of arms to identify themselves to their fans and spectators in the crowd. By the 1180s, knights had begun to assume the use of these coats of arms initially, like I said, as designs on their shields, but this was now repeated on embroidered surcoats and uh, went on to signet rings and seals, and it was hereditary. It was passed from father uh, to son. Coats of arms were initially a mark of gentility and nobility, and uh, in time, these were actually regulated by the royal authority to prevent any kind of uh, abuse of forgery, if you will. And in the age of widespread illiteracy, very few people were able to read and write then. A coat of arms really sent the signal of that bear's uh, social position and social sta standing. Medieval coats of arms often represented the bear's surname graphically. For instance, the de Griffio family displayed a griffin, the Leone family, a lion, olivari, an olive tree. This certainly must have been the case with the Arezzo coat of arms, which depicts four hedgehogs. Hedgehog in Italian is Alricio, and as you can see, there are four of them. Uh, two are on a coat of blue, uh, which are the symbols of goodness, firmness, and justice, and the other two are on a golden background, which supposedly represents faith, charity, and clemency. While we're talking about surnames, uh, it should be noted that until about 1300, few Sicilians had surnames at all, uh, unless it was something derived from their father. If their father's name was John, they'd be D. Giovanni. Uh, the great majority of hereditary surnames were assumed in the 15th century. This is true of our family as well. Uh, you can clearly see from our family tree at first our Aldo, who's our most distant known ancestor, only has his first name, kind of like Cher. Uh, and then his son, Alderesso, son of Aldo. And then we have Aldo, son of Alderesso, and so on and so forth. It keeps going on kind of in that vein for some time until we get to 1480 with the first appearance of the name Arezzo with Arigio Arezzo Baron Teletaja. The surnames of the barons often had to do with the, the land they owned. I mean, the land was everything to them. That's the reason that they were baron in the first place. So it's a great importance to them. And so sometimes the area of the land, the location, topographical features, uh, flora, fauna, or indigenous to their property is how they got their name. So perhaps the Sicilian hedgehog inspired the name for our family and not the other way around. Okay, back to coats of arms. Uh, as you can see, there are many other parts to coats of arms. It got progressively more elaborate, and there were all kinds of very strict rules governing their design, the materials, colors, etc., which we're certainly not going to get into. But one part of a coat of arms is the family motto. The Arezzo motto was Bene Meriteribus. I think I slaughtered that. Latin for to the well-deserving. Sounds a little bit self-congratulatory, but who am I to judge? In Sicily, as elsewhere throughout Europe, heraldry is readily visible in the coats of arms carved above many entrances to homes of aristocrats, and the Arezzo family was uh, no exception. Today, it's still possible to find this emblem in various cities in Sicily, from Palermo to Saragusa, and of course, Ragusa. Now for that title of Baron or Barone, 
Uh, it doesn't designate being descended from royal blood, but rather it's a title that is earned in, in service to the king. It's usually connected to land. And the actual barons were actually in five knights, which means they were knights that fought for uh, the king and as a result was granted a chunk of land, and which eventually became a uh, barony. Which And they held their tenure to that fife at the will and pleasure of the king, to whom they rendered military service, usually 40 days per year for that privilege. So it was kind of a contract. Uh, by 1282, the military obligation still existed, but most of the feudal lands had now, in effect, become personal property of those uh, barons. And as you can see here, our earliest ancestor with the title of baron is Francesco di Arito I, Baron di Cardinali, born around 1355.